everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Gift of Health, The Working Parents Guide to Raise Healthy, Vibrant Children. Today, we have Laura London. Welcome, Laura. Hi, how are you? I'm excited to talk to you today. So um, if you guys aren't, haven't heard of Laura yet, um, Laura London Fitness. So um, what I love from your bio, like, you know, it talks about like, yes, you're a holistic weight loss coach and fitness specialist, but really a fun-loving free spirit, wife of over 25 years and mom of three who decided to step out of her comfort zone and reinvent her health, body, and life in her 40s. Yeah. And you haven't looked back since. <laughs> so oh, I now look back. Yeah. <laughs> so we're so excited to hear from you just, um, I guess, like about your journey and then like uh, what you're really offering for, you know, like moms and women, anybody who's really looking to get back into fitness. Right. Well, first, thank you so much for having me. I really, really appreciate it. It's, it's such a, you know, an honor to be included with all these amazing people. So thank you. And my story is I never played a sport in my life growing up. My brother was a hemophiliac, which means if you, he didn't have clotting factor in his blood. So I say we were like a sport, a sport illiterate sports family like we didn't play sports we didn't watch it on tv my parents were european immigrants so no so i uh had you know my kids i had three kids and i said oh I i'd like to join a gym but i was uncomfortable going and my kids i tried it once the first one cried so i didn't go back and then one day i'll never forget it, i was grocery shopping and I had the three kids with me. I had, I call it like my mom, moo moo dress on, you know, spit up here and a child here. And I, I ran in this magazine rack and it had a magazine um, photos of like those before and after transformations that people do. And I had never seen anything like that before. And I was like, oh my gosh, like people do this? I'm going to do that. I, I don't know what it was. It clicked and I'm like, okay. So I went back home and I just started reading everything on health and wellness, just like in my, gosh, my late 30, late 30s. Um, I joined the gym and I went with my shirt down to my knees and, you know, I had a plan. I went in, I knew what I was going to do. And soon people were like, Laura, what are you doing? You're losing weight. You know, my, my long top got shorter and shorter and soon I was like whipping things off. People like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I don't know, I'm exercising, I'm eating well. And that's kind of how this whole thing transpired. I just was really for me to get in shape for myself. Mm -hmm. And then it just kind of had this domino effect. Really, that's, that's it. I never imagined like to be sitting here today on an interview with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's such a great point too. It's because I think uh, everyone, like at some point you've got to come to the realization that it isn't about um anyone else or like a, a certain way you're trying to look or like whatever it's it's about you and about you being happy and um like so for me personally i feel a lot better you know when i'm eating healthy and i'm working out and um you know through that builds confidence as well you know you're feeling better inside and out you know yes. so, um yeah so it's, it's so awesome that you know you, you just saw that and you're like i'm gonna do this like for me because that's what it sounds like is you were just so like yeah, I'm going to do this for me, and this is going to be awesome. <laughs> so. Yeah, and, you know, people kind of look at you like, yeah, okay. I'm like, all right, you know, don't, don't worry. I'm doing me. That's all. And I think that that's a really um, important concept for moms because we get so busy and so lost taking care of everybody else that we forget about ourselves. And that's, you know, something I hear across the globe from all, all moms, all walks of life. And when we take care of ourselves, like you said, we feel better. We are a better mom, a better wife. Everything runs a little smoother. So I always say fitness makes you stronger, not only like in the gym, but in every area of your life, truly. Right. So um, talking about mom, so I, I shared with you earlier that, uh, you know, my daughter, she's about to be one year old. And I'm still not like back to where I want to be, like with my fitness. Like, do I care about health? Absolutely. Um, health, wellness, working out, and fitness used to be like my thing. Like, you know, I don't, uh, I don't have any other hobbies. I just, I worked out, and we always did like outdoorsy things. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
I mean, do you have like a recommendation of like how, how you balance, you know, you know, your new like motherhood and uh, making your fitness a priority? Right. It's, it's not easy, especially with the, the babies because you're, you're tired. A lot of them don't sleep through the night. But you know what? I think it's really important to realize that well, we have to lose the all or nothing mentality. Like you don't have to go and do a gym for an hour. You know, it, it could be short, 10 minute increments when you can, when the baby's napping. You know, it, and it has to be something that we like to do. It could be as simple as putting on some awesome music and dancing, you know, in your living room. You could do hula hooping. Like, we have to lose that mentality. Like, it, it has to be so structured. So just like that. And I have some examples here even. Like, say you're a working mom and you work at your desk or you're just at home. I have these, I call them baby weights. They're three-pound weights. But let me tell you, Bethany, these weights, can do a lot. If you just bicep curls here and take them out to the side and keeping these weights up, you're going to feel it. 10 minutes of fooling around with these little weights gives you a great upper body workout. 10 minutes, baby, sleeping. Boom, in, done. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. You know? Yeah, I've seen some of the other ones, you know, where it's like, you know, take a break and like do some squats or whatever, but I think just, um, you know, I guess being a little more intentional, but attention, oh my goodness, intentional <laughs> about like, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm right. going to make a priority. So um, I feel like, you know, it probably starts with that commitment, like the commitment to yourself. And also like, rem I'm definitely in that like all or nothing mentality, probably about a lot of things, <laughs> but you know, um, because I think like when you've been at a level of fitness and then, sure. um, you know, whether you want to call like a setback or mm -hmm. pregnancy, <laughs> childbirth, you know, all those things like, to come back. And so you can go in remembering where you were or like okay. how maybe how good you were at something. And now it's like. Sure. <laughs> but you, you can uh, you can you can always get back there and always remember that this point in time in your life with your babies and your children is the most super important. I mean, it goes by so fast, mm -hmm. but so going in with a plan and I always say, um, creating your why, like, why do you want to do this? You, you say, people say, Oh, I want to lose weight, but it's more than that. I want to feel good. I want to feel healthy. I want to wear those, you know, jeans sitting in the back of my closet, you know, when we start to dig deeper. So really finding that why writing it down is super huge and then reading it that would be one thing then scheduling exercise in your day you know if we don't schedule it in it doesn't happen we can want we can hope but when we take a calendar like this <laughs> and we plan it in and it might just be one or two days and you say every Monday and every Wednesday at two o'clock I'm doing this, whatever that is, you know? And I, what I do is I give my clients this, I call it the little workout calendar. I say, mm -hmm. pick your favorite color. Every time you work out, put an X there. You either see these X's adding up or you don't. It's like a visual accountability, you know? So creating your why, creating your goals, and scheduling it in are huge for moms. Yeah. So now, now that you... Um you know, I got into like your, your fitness lifestyle and everything. How did, um, how did that transfer to your family or did it? Is it really like your thing or is it kind of like a family lifestyle now? It's, it's, it's a, a little of both. You know, I have three children. Um, mine are bigger now in their twenties, but when they were smaller, when I first started this, um, I took them to the gym with me. So they saw mom exercising, and then they saw mom with muscles. And at first, they were kind of like a little embarrassed. They were like, mom, but then they kind of got used to it, and then they would see me eating well, mm -hmm. and then they would see me drinking green smoothies. So I always say, if you're just exposing them mm -hmm. to all of this, you never know when it's going to appear in them. My point being, like, maybe my oldest doesn't really exercise that much, but she knows all this information. Mm -hmm. My youngest, who's now 20, 
is now a yoga instructor. She's drinking green smoothies, but that didn't happen like till like really a year ago. But I gave always those foundations. My husband who never ate anything green is drinking celery juice. So just exposing them they will get it. So instead of being like, you have to do this, you have to do that. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So not really trying to like force it on them. Like, you know, this is something you're going to do. But just, um, yeah, having them there. So like they're, they're seeing it and they're yeah. like, seeing like um, the wonderful benefits that you're experiencing, you know, that you're, you're a more confident woman, you're happy, you know, this is um, what makes you happy. So uh, yeah, I think that's really important because I think one of my fears is that, so I was an obese child and then like, so at 15, I decided to lose weight um, and I did, but like in all the most ways imaginable. Um, so, you know, I had to like work through a lot of stuff for um, figuring out that healthy, not only of like nutrition, but of working out too. Um, you know, and it took me a long time to realize like, okay, like working out is not about punishing myself for something I did or something I want to do, but it's about taking care of myself. And that the most important thing is like my health and wellness. And yeah. that's like exercise is the vehicle that I like <laughs> to use for that. Um, but yeah, so I think I just, uh, like I'm interested in how to like foster that mindset mm -hmm. with that, I guess, like pushing it too far. Yeah, I think just having it built in as part of, your lifestyle, mm -hmm. the children will start picking it up. And, you know, doing things together, like you doing like a, a, a mom and me yoga class or going to the park and the kids are on the monkey bars and maybe you're doing something on the monkey bars, or, you know, just like including going for short walks with them, kicking around a soccer ball, like just those little things. So you're always bringing physical fitness in and it can be fun. Exercise should be fun. Otherwise, truthfully, we're not going to do it. You know, it's really finding that thing that you like to do. I think working out at home for moms is a great thing too. Yeah, absolutely. Cause it, you know, you talked about like while the child's napping or whatever. So you're not going to have time to <laughs> drive to the gym and do a workout, a full workout, like maybe you used to, and then come back. But yeah, I think again, like really trying to come out of that, like all or nothing mentality. And, um, you know, even if it's just those little spurts throughout the day, you know, they add up. So they uh, really, really do. I have a lot of, um, videos on my website and my YouTube channel that are just the free videos. You can join along and work out with me. And people have sent me videos of themselves with their children, working out, like doing my 100 squat challenge or something. The kids love to exercise with the moms. They really do. Yeah. And that's a great idea too, like all the little challenges and stuff out there, like getting your kids involved in those. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like something you're completing together. Uh, yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. And then, you know, a lot of the, what I like, what I used to like to do a lot were um, like the obstacle course races. Because I felt like, you know, like, why am I in the gym, like, working so hard every day? And so, like, I used those as kind of, like, my, like, fun events to go kind of test myself. Um, but now, if, like, that's something people are into, they have them for, like, the kids, too, where it's, like, a lot shorter, and then they get their little yeah. mess at the end. So, that's a lot of fun, too. Yeah. And you have a little one probably still in the stroller. There are all sorts of mommy yeah. groups that go stroller walking and mall walking and do all sorts of things. So there really is nowadays something for everyone to to find and enjoy and bring that into the whole family lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know one uh, one listener actually reached out talking about uh, more of the, the fitness aspects of this series and asking, you know, if what if I have a, an older child, like say on the verge of like the teenage years, that... Um, they're, they're more into their phone or they're more into video games or something like that. Um, would, would you have like ideas of, of like how they can uh, like get those kids a little more active? Like, it, 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 yeah, you know, I, I have one of those children. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My son, um, yeah, high functioning autism. So sports were never really a thing with the coordination. Um, so we, we joined different things like Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. 
which still got him out in nature, walking. Mm -hmm. He loved going to like the lake and throwing rocks in the lake. Like connecting with nature is really huge too. So it doesn't mm -hmm. always have to ha have to be a sport if a child is not um, athletic. Getting them out of their phones, yeah, that's a hard, that's a challenging one. <laughs> that's right. a challenging one. But there there are things you can do. You can try to go on a family like um what do you call them five k maybe they they'll walk with you instead and they could bring their friends you know and they don't have to be with you but they can walk in their own group swimming it teenagers are honestly a little bit more difficult but it's not impossible <laughs> right yeah you, know, you mentioned the mall too like go walk around <laughs> like go. Yeah. just getting. So getting them one of those, um, well, they, a lot of them have the Apple watches, but like making them aware of tracking their steps. How many steps did you get today? You know, let's all be a family who gets 10,000 steps today and just yeah. kind of leave it there. So you don't always have to, how many steps, but they're aware. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Um, yeah, like little family challenges too. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, so... Um, did you, so were your, how old were your kids when you really got into your fitness journey? Oh my gosh, they were little. They were probably like, gosh, little. My youngest was maybe two, so probably like two, three, and five when I first started this whole thing. I started with my oldest, tried to put her in daycare, she cried. Tried to put the next two in, they cried. By the time the third one came around, I'm like, you're going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's great and very inspirational. For like, you know, just, uh, you got to go do it, right? They'll be fine. They'll adjust. <laughs> Nobody ever, yeah, they'll be fine. They truly will be. They yeah, will. I think, um, so... That's so interesting. So I, I want to talk a little more about your website. It's uh, lauralondonfitness.com, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So tell us a little about like the stuff you offer. Oh, I have lots of amazing stuff there. So I have um, workouts on, they're all in video form there. You can just log, not even log on, just go and see. They're all by category, ab workouts, lower body. I have great recipes. And a lot of them are me in the kitchen cooking, so they're in video form, because I always like to see how to do it. Um, I have some online programs there. One is called The Hot and Healthy Body. It's a 30-day online academy where you log in, exercises, I have 21 coaching videos. You can do the exercises at home, in the gym. Um, it's adjustable for every fitness level. I have some detox programs. Uh, and I have a lot of uh, yeah. freebie. I think my freebie is like hot and hot and healthy from the inside out. Ten, 10 surprising secrets. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So you really, you've got something for all of our moms out here, whatever you're into, it's there. <laughs> you can find sure. it. Yeah. So what led you to, I'm just interested in that. Like what led you to like going from your fitness journey to being like, this is something I want to share. Um, um, you know, I think, uh, I started, what happened was I, after I kind of started getting in shape, I hired a trainer at the gym and I noticed her from this fitness magazine. Like she was in the fitness magazine. She did like all the gymnastics and everything. And I said, Oh my gosh, I'd love to do that. But I have like three left feet. I am so <laughs> uncoordinated. She's like, Oh, you know, they just opened this sport. It's called figure. It's just an athletic look and literally just stand on stage and pose. So she kind of took me under her wing and then I started competing and I, I did very well competing. And then people are like, you should um, videotape your training. I'm like videotape it. And they're like, yes, put it on YouTube. I'm like YouTube. It was like this big, you know, thing in space to me, YouTube. Sure. So I did, I made a videotape and I put it out there and people started watching it. And then I started making more videos and more videos and people kept coming and then built the website. And it just, 
I've, uh, I actually used to have a show for six years called the Fit and Fabulous Mom Contest, mm -hmm. where it was moms coming on stage. They had their own transformation. There's no bathing suits, nothing like that. A fitness outfit, an evening outfit. We brought the kids on stage. It was just to celebrate the mom and how amazing she is in her own, you know, transformation. That was a lot of fun. That's awesome. That's so sweet. <laughs> um, oh man, that's so cool. Um, yeah, I think one of the things I think, uh, you know, people kept coming and I think a lot of that probably is, you know, like the, the person you are, you're just, uh, you know, you're just the regular woman who decided to go on this journey. And I don't mean that in any kind of like derogatory way. I just mean that, uh, yeah, like you, you know, you're not someone who was always like, you know, super thin and fit and you're like doing yeah. you're, you're someone who found your fitness journey like later in life, but you're like, I can still do this and you're rocking it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's I, really a connection piece that people can really um, relate to you on. Yeah. Because I think, you know, you know, people are quick to say, Oh, they, they see a person now, but they don't know where they came from or what their story or their journey is. So yeah, I'm just a regular mom. I'm telling you so uncoordinated, unathletic and, and how I wound up here, you know, is really, it's been a, the whole journey has been a gift. And for me to be able to help other moms feel good about themselves. And if I'm, can inspire one person today, you know, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's what it's truly about. Right. Absolutely. So just kind of recapping the things we talked about, we talked about, you know, get out of your all or nothing mentality and, um, starting, even if it's just a couple times a week. Right. So, um, what do you think's, uh, like the best approach, I guess, as far as, you know, cause there are all the principles of thought out there, like, Cardio, 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 which I feel like that one's kind of dying off a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, then you've got, you know, like the, <laughs> the hit workouts um, and just like all your different approaches. So what, what do you really um, like? So number one, something you enjoy. Number two is I'm a big proponent at, you know, we need different, different exercise, exercise, I don't know. At, in our 20s, in our 30s, in our 40s, and our 50s, because our body changes. But I truly believe that the best thing is compound movements, like doing a squat and an overhead press at the same time. So we're using the lower body, we're using the upper body, and we're using our core. That is so smart and efficient, and that is how I train people. That's all, in all my programs. And then adding in cardio, if you really want to, you know, take some more weight off, 20 minutes, high intensity, 30 seconds. It could be pedaling fast on a bicycle, then slow down. Pedal fast, 15 to 20 minutes, two to three times a week. You don't need more than that. What you want are the muscles which really burn the fat, shape the body, and make you feel good. Right. <laughs> yeah, I remember um, there was a time when, like, I so I got into running when I was losing weight. And uh, I lifted weights too, but didn't, I guess, know a whole lot about like what I was doing. <laughs> but um, so, uh, but I did more like distant, uh, distance runs. And then uh, like I went on uh, my first deployment in the military. And when I came back, I found this gym that was uh, like one of the boot camp gyms. And it's yeah. all about circuit training. And, you know, like every 30 seconds, you're changing what you're doing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. going from high to low and all this stuff. And uh, within six weeks of working out there, I just saw massive improvements that I hadn't seen in anything else that I tried. And then when we did um, like our semi-annual fitness test, I did the best I've ever done. And I was like, oh my uh -huh. gosh, there's gotta be something to this. So I've been, you know, like a raving fan of, <laughs> of that ever yes. since. And I think it's really important to use, you know, weights, bands, balls, bosus, because they really challenge all your little muscles. And I always say we have to strengthen all the little things in the body before we can add like any heavy weight. And they help the body in, in the way it moves in real life. You know, a machine goes up, down, back and forth. That's it. That's not how we're built. As you can see, I was starting to be a sign language interpreter one time in my life. So that's why I use my hands a lot. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that's a great point, though, like functional fitness. 
Like, you know, like, what are you training for? Life. <laughs> like, you know, you want to be, like, healthy and be able to, like, especially for moms, like, run around with your kids and have okay. fun. You know? You'll laugh. I'm going to turn my monitor for a second. You see okay. all the hands hanging there? And there's my rebounder right there. <laughs> Probably a stability ball somewhere mm -hmm. around here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, you know, to be a mom and to not leave the house and work out, all you need is stability ball and a set of bands. I mean, seriously. And you'll see if you go look at any of my videos. Balls, bands, bosus, I'm working out in the house. Chairs, you name it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Laura, thank you so much for coming on and being an inspiration to us all. I know it's definitely like an inspiration to me to like, you know, get back into it. Um, because just seeing like how like bright and fun that you are, I'm like, oh, I, <laughs> I used to be that way. <laughs> like, so you know, it's a little more motivation to like get back into uh, the fitness side of a healthy lifestyle. So thank you so much for coming on and sharing with us today. You're so well. I'm going to leave you guys with one thing. I call it the red light challenge. Okay. From now, on, from now on, every time you're at a red light and you're in your car, you're doing booty squeezes. <laughs> no excuses not to get the fitness in. You can fit it in anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Speaking of that, the, uh, the gym that I went to uh, for so long before I had my daughter, uh, one of my favorite things that the coach would always yell is uh, like when you were doing like some kind of like lower body workout, he would be like, uh, squeeze those buns or no one else will want to <laughs> crack me up every time that's like my favorite quote that i will probably always remember from him <laughs> that's so cute that's funny i love it perfect perfect all right uh, so we leave you with that <laughs> that's right <laughs> squeeze those buns at every red light <laughs> every red light all right thank you all for tuning in and i hope to see you again on the next episode of the gift of health the working parents guide to raise healthy vibrant children Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.